How's it everyone? Grant here. Welcome back to another camera comparisons video. This time it's between the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the Google Pixel. Now the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge along with the Google Pixel arguably had some of the best cameras of 2016. They pretty much still are the best cameras you can get in a smartphone today. The Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus were just released and Sony has put a slightly improved sensor with the same camera specs into the S8 and S8 Plus. Uh, they mainly have supposedly improved their software image processing. So we're going to test the S8 here against the Google Pixel here in 2017. Uh, this is the front facing camera obviously being shot at 1080p because that's the highest resolution that the Google Pixel will go. The Galaxy S8 can shoot up to 4K in the front facing camera. Samsung has also added autofocus to its front facing camera and I can see that in action here on the S8 where I see a lot of focus hunting. Uh, so let me know if you see that here as well. But I'll be taking a lot of photos and videos like I usually do in both good light and low light. Hopefully it gives you a better idea of how these cameras are performing in various different conditions. So let me know what you think and let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay everyone, so here we have some footage from the rear facing camera at 1080p, 30 frames per second. So we're going to test out the zoom here, see how the zooms work. So it looks like Samsung goes all the way up to an 8x digital zoom here. We'll pull back out. And the Google Pixel zoomed all the way in. We'll zoom back out. We'll do an autofocus test here. We'll try to get some focus on this branch. There you go. So they both kind of lock in pretty well. We'll focus away back into the building. Focus back into the branch. There you go. And one more time. So autofocus is pretty good on both. We'll do a little panning around here in the park. And we'll test out some stabilization. We'll walk around here. Again, they're both mounted to my usual tripod mount here, so it should be fairly stable. And the Google Pixel is probably the most stable video I've tested on any smartphone camera. But take note of some of the color contrast here, since we have a lot of greenery here in the park today. We'll pan back around again. Go up into the sky. It's a pretty overcast day, so we're not going to get a lot of harsh light. But still can test some of the dynamic range with some of that sun anyway. They both seem to be doing pretty good and I'll kind of expect no less. I'm gonna bet that the Galaxy S8 audio sounds better though because the Google Pixel audio for video recording has been historically pretty bad. But I want to give you some sample footage here from the rear facing cameras on both the S8 and the Google Pixel. Okay, and here we have some footage from the rear facing cameras on both devices in 4K this time. So we'll try to redo the same video test. So we'll zoom in with the Samsung Galaxy S8 here. At full zoom. I'll even pan around a little bit this time. Looks a little bit grainy here in the viewfinder. Pull back out. This time we'll zoom in with the Google Pixel. So that's full zoom there. And we'll move around. It looks a little bit clearer on the Pixel, but actually a little bit shakier. Maybe it'll stabilize in processing. And we'll zoom all the way back out. We'll do a focus test here. So we'll get on the branch, focused up nicely. We'll go back to the building, back into the branch, and back into the building. So focus is still pretty well in 4K. We'll pan around a little bit in the park again. We'll do a little bit of stabilization test. So the Google Pixel is probably the best stabilization that I've seen on any smartphone, even in 4K. I'm not sure if the S8 has any stabilization at 4K. I'm thinking not, so I'm anticipating the Google Pixel to look better, even though they're on the same mount here. And the Google Pixel looks a little, looks a little bit shaky because a lot of that stabilization is in post. And we'll just pan around here again. But I just want to give you a quick sample in 4K from both cameras.
Okay everyone, so here we have the Samsung Galaxy S8 and Google Pixel in low light, both with the front facing cameras being shot at 1080p, 30 frames per second. So I'll pan around a little bit so you can see some of the bright lights. And I'll aim them directly into the bright lights behind me so you can see how it handles any kind of lens flare. They're both looking pretty good here. And as usual, we have the usual fountain in the background. That'll help with judging the auto quality from both these phones with that in the background. And we'll do a little bit of walking and test the stabilization here. As always, they're both mounted to the same mount, so stabilization test should be fair. And testing out both these cameras, as you'd expect, they're both flagships. They're both pretty much two of the best smartphone cameras you can get on the market today. And testing them in both photos and videos, good light and in low light here, they're both looking really, really good. And this is a tough low light situation. If you watch any of my other camera comparison videos, uh, these lights behind me are very harsh and they're not obviously clear white light. They're a orangish yellowish tint and that usually casts a very um, yellow or orange tone over the picture quality of a lot of cameras. And so the Google Pixel here is not looking so orangish but maybe a little bit noisy. So if you can see into the sky up there, it's trying to uh, brighten up the picture a lot and it gets a little bit noisy. While the Galaxy S8 is looking a lot crisper here, although a little bit more of that orange tint, but not nearly as much as some other cameras. Maybe go check out my Mate 9 video. That really looked very orangish. And so both cameras are performing very well here. This is a very difficult low light situation. And from what I can see, at least in the viewfinder, both cameras are doing very well. The one thing, of course, is that the Google Pixel audio has not been performing well and it has not in any of my other camera tests. It's pretty poor for video quality audio um, and the S8 should be sounding a lot better. But other than that, the picture quality here is looking very good and the photos and videos that have been coming out of both these cameras have been very good. But you tell me what you think. Here's a low light sample from the front facing cameras. And here's some rear facing footage from both cameras being shot at 1080p 30 frames per second. This is obviously low light, pretty late at night about 10 p.m. And we'll do our usual test. We'll point it directly into that street light. So same thing, handling the lens flare pretty well. There's really not too much to speak of. Although if you look up at that sky, there does seem to be quite a bit of noise on the Galaxy S8. A little bit of noise on the Google Pixel as well. I'm not sure if that's coming through once the video is offloaded, but that's what it looks like in the viewfinder. Pointing them at the row of street lights here. Again, handling the lens flare very well. Not too much, if any at all. You can see a little bit of a light ring on the Google Pixel there. As I pan across, you can see that light ring around the edges of the picture. So there still is some of that in the Google Pixel. I know Google promised a software update, but we all knew a software update probably would not cure that. So the light rings are still present on the Google Pixel and Google Pixel XL. We'll pan around a bit here and do a little bit of walking and stabilization test at 1080p, 30 frames per second. So there you go, a quick camera sample from the rear facing cameras at 1080p 30 frames per second. And here we have the rear facing cameras on the Google Pixel XL and Samsung Galaxy S8 being shot at UHD 4K. So this is some 4K content for both cameras in low light here at night. We'll point them up directly at that bright street light there. Uh, seems to be handling it very well. No real lens flaring going on there. Let's try to point them into these multiple rows of lights here, see how it handles. See if you guys see any kind of light rings or flare from the Google Pixel. Nothing really. They're both looking pretty good. The dots you see there on the screen, they look like UFO dots. Pretty much all cameras will have that kind of a effect into, the, into these lights in this little light situation for me. So that's not abnormal. And just panning around. Both these cameras seem to be doing very well for in the rear facing camera here. This is a very difficult low light situation like I explained in that front facing video. We'll do some walking for a stabilization test in 4K. Again, the Google Pixel, I don't think anything's gonna beat its stabilization. Although, if you do some panning while walking, it can look a little robotic and I think that's some of the knock on that it has. But other than that, stab stabilization wise is very good. The Samsung Galaxy S8, not too bad for a 4K stabilization either. A lot better than some other phones on the market today as far as 4K stabilization goes. So there's some quick footage from the rear facing camera and 4K on both phones. 